Hi, I'm Doug Taylor, the CEO of The Smith Family, and this is the next in our series about our work at The Smith Family and our conversation series. And today I'm here with Wendy Field, our Head of Policy Programs and Strategy at The Smith Family. And we want to talk a bit about digital inclusion, which is a really important part of our, our strategy for the next five years. So, g'day Wendy. Hi Doug, how are you? Good, good, thanks. Um, so Wendy, digital inclusion, it's the whole notion is, uh, has been around for a long time, uh, but is not well understood. What are the kind of elements of what digital inclusion means and looks like for a person? Yeah, it, it has been bandied around quite mm. a bit recently. So, you know, we use the Australian Digital Inclusion Alliance definition of digital inclusion. And broadly, it means that you've got a device that's reliably connected to the internet at home and the device is appropriate for your needs. So. If you break it down into its core components, it's that you have access to a laptop or yeah. a device that's suitable for your needs. Mm -hmm. You've got reliable connection to the internet. You've got the skills to um, be able to use the device and to understand, I suppose, the complexities yeah. of that. And uh, so you understand how to keep yourself safe online in various ways. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we're aiming for, for the families that we support. Uh, we want every student to have access to a device that can help them to connect to education. Yeah, yeah, no, fantastic. And it, it really is the kind of the new edge of how people experience poverty today, isn't it, in many ways. And so, I mean, the Smith family has been working this space for many, many years, but we learned a lot, particularly through COVID, about the challenges for families that we're supporting. Can you tell us a bit about what we did and what we learned through yeah, COVID? Yeah, sure. You're, you're right. We started uh, with uh, in distributing tech packs, I think, back in about 2012. And um, we evaluated that with support from Victoria University. And it showed that having a, have being connected digitally made a substantial difference in, in the lives of the families that we support. But then, of course, COVID hit and immediately we were inundated with calls from families who were really concerned that their children weren't going to be able to stay engaged in education. Um, and you know, their lives, what they were talking about were lives that were already chaotic, being mm. made doubly chaotic by lockdowns yeah. and a deep concern. You know, you had a family who had five children and they had one fairly mm. unstable device and the vast majority of their mobile data, uh, sorry, their data came through mobile uh, plans. Yeah. So it was unsustainable and their children were immediately unable to participate in education. Yeah. Schools were really scrambling to um, get families online and included. Mm. But one of the things that we know is that the schools that we work with have really big concentrations of disadvantage. Mm. And so mm. they really struggled to get things happening mm. for everybody quickly. Mm. So there was a deep concern about potential further loss of learning for yeah. those students. And we were in a really fortunate position to be able to secure some support from a couple of our major supporters and fairly quickly, in fact, in record time, get mm. about 2,000 devices and uh, internet connections out mm. to families, uh, which smoothed the pathway for yeah. quite a few families. Yeah. And so we've now built digital inclusion into our um, five-year strategy moving yeah. forward. Yeah. That's fantastic. And uh, as I understand it today, about 15% of our families don't have a connected laptop in their home, which is, and there could be a number of children in that household. Um, so in terms of our strategy in the next phase, we're looking to support those families. What, what are we doing and who are we working with to address that? Yeah, sure. Um, we're still working through what the exact data is. One of the really interesting things that came through in the independent review of the impact of COVID, which was led by Peter mm. Shergold, mm -hmm. was that it was clear that disadvantaged households were 40 times more likely to lack a computer and mm. internet connection. So, and they're talking about the ongoing impact of that, particularly in terms of, I suppose, the changes in the way education is being delivered now post COVID. Um, so we are looking to ensure that every student is digitally included. Yeah. Um, we're working, first of all, we're working, doing some work with our families, which is 
asking them about their understanding of and experience of digital exclusion yeah. and what their ambition for their children is, what their concerns are, yeah. what they see as some of the challenges mm -hmm. and what their ideal state would be. Mm. And we're working with a whole lot of partners mm. uh, to support distribution of whatever families need. So some yeah. families will need four devices, but they're good on the internet. Yeah. Some family will need support with technology mm -hmm. and skill building. So our aim is not to say, here's a package and every family has to have yeah. it. Yeah. We're aiming to provide families with what they need for their circumstances. Yeah. And we want to give our students a choice that enables them to participate in education. Mm -hmm. So some schools are saying, you have to have this device. Mm -hmm. So we hope to be able to provide that device yep. um, and we want to make sure that the devices that we provide enable students to do more complex work yep, right. because, you know, one of the, everybody has a mobile phone and you could say, isn't that digital <laughs> inclusion? But if you think about the skills for the workforce of the future, mm. children and young people yeah, need to be able to engage with technology so that they can maybe become creators mm. of technology as much as consumers of technology. Mm. So that's mm. our ambition. For yeah, it. it's fantastic. It's, it's very exciting. It's a core part of our five-year strategy. Um, and we'll learn a lot as we work with our families in thinking about digital inclusion going forward. And a shout out to our partners at Optus and the Donate Your Data program, which is one of a number of really important partnerships in this strategy. So thanks so much, Wendy. Thanks. And, uh, and thanks for listening into this conversation. Thanks.